So if you work with HTML, which is more than likely, you're probably going to want to know about Emmet. So Emmet is basically, like we saw with the Twig example, a really nice way to auto-complete things. But it goes uh, a lot further than this. And we're not going to dive too much into this. We're just talking about this in the context of Sublime. Uh, but we can actually do a lot with Emmet. So Emmet is available for lots of other text editors. But we're going to go ahead and install it for Sublime and see what we can do with this. OK, so let's go and just restart Sublime. And now that we've done that, let's just go and create some kind of index.html file. So now that we've got Emmet installed, we can do things like generate a document layout by just including an exclamation mark and hitting the tab key. So that will generate us a document layout. You've probably seen me do this in other videos. So we can also do some really clever stuff. So we can do something like row. And then if we're working with a framework like foundation on the front end, we can do something like large five dot columns. And then we can multiply that by two. And you can see how easy this is to work with. So if you head over to their website, you'll find a lot more about this. But trust me, this will speed up your development on the front end a massive amount. It's a really helpful plugin to have. And it's probably one of the most used plugins that I actually actively use. Because for example, when I'm, you know, creating a submit button or a text field, or something a little bit more complicated, like a form with perhaps a text area in it, I don't want to have to write all this out myself. So I can just go and generate this with Emmet. Really, really straightforward, but really helpful.